Please welcome Compton's own Easy E. <laughs> now, how can I do an interview? <laughs> What's up, man? Nothing much. <laughs> Would you like to jump into the conversation and uh, continue on any of those areas we hit? What were you guys at now? Oh, gosh. We, we talked about everything. Something about the chronic or something. Well, we were talking about that, too. Yeah. But what do you think about the resurgence of it? I agree. With my man here. Yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah. Hey, can I ask you a question about you personally? Is there a misconception about Easy E that you would like to look into the camera and clear up? Because we hear so much, we see so much. What would you like to say about Easy? Let me see. First of all, I want to start up with our, those studio gangsters out there. No, no, wait, wait. What's the? Oh, what's wait, a wait, wait. I just, I just want to define it for Middle America: a studio gangster. There's somebody that's not real, they go in the studio and all of a sudden become hard when they used to do dance music. <laughs> okay. You know, I'll tell you about it a little later. Okay, okay. I don't believe nothing they say anyway. Yeah. Talking about I ganked them for whatever and all that, so. Don't ever believe everything you hear. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Feet are funny, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. um, I'm comfortable, man. <laughs> you gave me this robe, yeah, so I have to Yeah, I, I really am flattered. Yes. Um, guys, where, where, where do we go next? I had no idea that you make money off product from Dr. Dre and Snoop. Yeah. Now, how did that work out? Basically, I had Dre uh, signed as exclusive producer and exclusive artist. Mm -hmm. So when Dre tried to make his deal all over at Interscope, you know, mm -hmm. I was included for the next six years. So you can say all you want to say. <laughs> Basically, you could diss me all you want, but I'm going to get paid. Because that's why I say Dre Day is only Easy's payday. And that's real. Uh, um, why don't y'all just make up? <laughs> he already made up. You ain't never seen him with the lipstick and lace. Oh, no, 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 I mean, no. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, get back together. When I first met y'all, you were a group and everything, yeah, and, cool. and, and we need so much to, to try to get to unity among brothers, you know, because there's so much out there that's against us all, you know. Is there a chance that one of you could call each other and just squash all this? Basically, you look, if you look at, if I got this by... You know, over a couple of million people heard about me mm -hmm. trying to be hardcore. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't think I want to make up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but you got to Business is business, you know. Yeah. I'll do a record with him. Yeah. Okay. That's an olive branch. Word. But you, Chris, you understand what I mean. I, I mean, because it, it's like there's so much power in unity. And, and when I see brothers going through this, it's, it's, it's rough to watch, you know? Right. Because I respect you both as businessmen. Um, I would like... Well, okay. um, let's talk about the business of gangster rap. A lot of people say that it's reached its peak. I don't think so. Really? You think it's going to go farther? Where is it going to go? Over the top. Uh-oh, Chris? I, I, I mean, uh, actually, the, the title gangster rap doesn't even really exist. Because uh, real gangsters don't rap. Uh, gangsters. <laughs> so, well, maybe, you know, uh, I would go more into the idea of gangster record companies. Uh, if the real gangsters out here are the ones who own the gangster rapper. And to me, I mean, I don't know enough about the, the, the quarrel between Easy E and Dr. Dre to even jump into that. But what I will say is that the true gangster is the one that owns the gangster rapper. And if there is some validity to what you're saying, then I would say the true gangster would probably be right here uh, on another level. I go more into business. Gangster is about business. It's like business rap. It's not even gangster rap. It's business rap. If you look at some of these record companies, and I'm not going to say no names because I'm doing a lot of business with a lot of you people. But 
<laughs> what I will say is that a lot of these companies at the highest, highest level are gangsters themselves. And if you want to get rid of gangster rap, first you got to get rid of the gangster record company. And I'll just cut it off right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what, your, your record company, you own your record company, right? Right. Ruthless Records. Ruthless Records. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, you're going to rap for us, I know. Yeah, I'll rap. Okay, I think we need to take a commercial for a wardrobe change. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back with more Easy Eat.